Morning on Born Today, we are talking about breastfeeding. So we asked today correspondent and new mom, Jenna Wolf, to tackle the issue. Jenna, good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Matt. Thank you. Yes, we did ask our viewers at Today.com how they feel about breastfeeding in public. Nearly 10,000 people responded. 38% said they felt like it's a non-issue. 9% said they felt empowered. The same percentage said they felt embarrassed as well. So I decided to see where I fall into that percentage and go look, check it out for myself. It's a relatively modern dilemma in the course of motherly events, the breast versus bottle debate. When my daughter Harper was born last month, I chose to breastfeed. But as many women can attest, the decision comes with both rewards and challenges. Okay, I say breastfeeding, first word that pops into your head. Connection. Connection. Yeah, closeness. Difficult. Uh, nurturing. I say nurturing, too. I am breastfeeding, but what I discovered is that it wasn't natural for me. I knew that I wasn't good at getting him to latch on, um, and it was just, it was stressful. Stressful and at times awkward when a baby's tummy clock doesn't match up with mommy's busy day. Breastfeeding in public has long been a matter of debate. To test the climate in 2013, I set out with a hidden camera and one very hungry baby. First stop, the Plaza Hotel. So far, so good. Next stop, famous toy haven, FAO Schwartz. When I first started and I took it out, I felt like I was doing something wrong. You know, you feel ashamed or embarrassed. But um, the more you do it, the more comfortable you feel. I even went to a fancy department store. Do so you balance the screaming and the fussiness with how comfortable you feel breastfeeding in public? And one always wins out. I'm going to bring my whole mommy and me class here. But for some moms, the challenges can take their toll. According to the CDC, 77% of women in the United States begin breastfeeding their babies. But by three months, that number drops to 38%. And at six months, only 16% of babies are consuming breast milk alone. Breastfeeding was the most natural, best and healthiest thing that I could do for my kids. Campaigns like this one, launched by the Department of Health and Human Services, are aimed at getting more women to stick with it. But what about women who simply can't breastfeed, like Suzanne Barston, whose baby was allergic to breast milk? I faced basically every breastfeeding problem under the sun. She said she felt alienated after she started bottle feeding her kids' formula. It just, it really made me feel like I had failed. You know, in my one job as a mom, I had failed. Realizing that moms like her needed support, Suzanne created a campaign for all women, no matter how they choose to feed their kids. Still, there are those moments that can make natural feel unnatural. While Harper was quietly having lunch at the Apple Store in Midtown Manhattan, I was approached by a store employee. I'm okay. Okay. Is it is it all right that I'm here? Yeah, it's okay. fine. We just we'll use this table for our business customers. I agreed to move, and while I never encountered any major problems breastfeeding in public, sometimes other moms do. I was once asked to stop breastfeeding while I was in a bank for someone to come over and actually say, "Can you not do that here?" Uh, it felt I, I felt uncomfortable. Before I had a child, I had no idea that breastfeeding could be such an emotional topic. If I've learned anything so far, it's that while it's not always easy, most of us moms are just doing our best. The best thing you can do for your baby and your most important job as a mom or a parent is just feed them with love and don't let the noise from society get in the way of your relationship with your child. Incredibly well said. Harper and I have made it five weeks so far. Still technically on maternity leave, but... This is a very important topic to me, so I wanted to come back and talk about oh, it. It's good great. to have you. It's here. important it's to a lot a great of people. Bond. Yeah, it was important to you, obviously. You were big, you know, you liked this. That was fun. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> oh, Jenna, we've missed you. <laughs> a, really, a really beautiful moment, and then yeah. Yeah. that's Woo! our Jenna. That's why yes. I'm still on maternity leave. <laughs> Take another few months. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice yeah, to see you, back. Jenna. Thank you.